is medicine something that you should take up at the age of 18 or 21 or is it something that you can get into later on in, in your more mature years yeah it's definitely it's definitely something that you can get into in your more mature years definitely and um i mean there's an argument to say that um some people might argue that maybe 18 is too young but th that's throwing a blanket over 18 year olds because you know there are people that are mature, emotionally mature and people who are less emotionally mature and so people who are suited more to being in the hospitals from the you know age of 19 seeing critically ill people um then you know and there's some people who, who aren't suited to that so if you're and and the other thing is you know if if i look at the, my colleagues now i can count on you know equal amount of people that have done postgraduate medicine um not done so well at high school or and not or or done well and just not gotten into medicine through the undergraduate pathway and have gone to university studied ba a bachelor of medical science or biomedical sciences worked hard got their um their 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 marks up at, at university and proven themselves and then gotten in into graduate medicine and and um have done well and that's and you know are, are pursuing um challenging careers like surgery and intensive care medicine and um you know excelling in academia and stuff so i think i think um the answer to is it for is it something that you should give up on if you don't get in from high school the answer is definitely no if that's what you want to do you will get in it, that's all that's all that there is to medicine is 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 commitment um and energy like anyone can do medicine seriously you just have to be committed. That's that's all it is. So if you feel that you can do it and you want to do it, you'll get in. You, you just have to work hard. And do you have any tips for you know, any prospective students out there who'd be thinking about sitting their their um their UCAT or their GAMSAT? What what advice or what what tips um, would you give to anyone who's wanting to get into medicine? Uh with regards to the UMAT and the GAMSAT, I think the I mean the UMAT. It's funny for medicine when you're coming out of high school. The universities weight the UMAT equally to the HSC, and then if you if you divide up, you know the time that you commit to the HSC, it's twelve months of intense study, assessments, you know monthly trial exams, proper exams, um, and you, you spend you spend these you spend so much time studying after being at, at school that day for the HSC, and then a lot of people don't treat the UMAT as as as, as important as the hsc which is totally wrong because they because the universities weight them pretty well equally you know and that gets you in and then you get an interview and you get in by excelling in your interview so my advice would be is put 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 as much time towards the umat as you do to your hsc mark they're equally as equally as important and i think a lot of people don't do that the umat is an exam that you can study for um it's a it's a weird exam but once you get used to it you can study for it and you can and you can get your marks up um i, I mean i didn't i never sat the gamsat because i got in undergraduate um but i know people who start who who sat the gamsat multiple times and they said that each time they sat it they felt like they got better at it until they got in and that the lesson in that is um you know you put the time to something and you will get better at it and um, this is a question which I had the privilege of being a part of a couple of times. But did you have a social life whilst you were at med medicine school? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I mean, it, what was hard about um, about University of Newcastle was that I was, uh, you know, I had lots of mates in in uh, uh, in Sydney that I wanted to hang out with, as well as lots of mates in Newcastle that I wanted to hang out with. So I was like, I, was, I kind of felt double booked all the time, um, and. Yeah, it was it was important to have a social life, um, you know, you, you know, within with medical people as well as without medical people. Um, if you hang out with med if you hang out with medical people all the time, all you ever talk about is medicine, and you just you know, like me personally, I, I feel like I could go insane just doing that. So I, ha I feel like I have to t talk to people who and and um, try and relate to people who aren't in medicine. Um, so I was fortunate that I had a good social circle outside of uh, outside of medicine, and and it's important that you. Uh, you know, some point on a Friday night or a Saturday night when, you know, you might be studying or whatever, you just go, oh, no, nah, this, this is too much. Just, I'm going to go out and have a beer with my mates and just just enjoy being young. Um, so it's hard because it's a challenging course, but um, there is a balance. There is an achievable balance there for sure.